In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Clone Wars GFX. Now, we're going to need three things for this tutorial. You're going to need Blender, Roblox Studio, and any Photoshop of your choice. It could be GIMP, it could be Photopea, it could be Photoshop itself. Just anything you're comfortable with. And to start off, what you want to do is you want to go into Plugins. Now, you want to type in Load Character. Now, this is going to be two that pop up. You want to grab the free one. I already got it you just want to hit install now after you hit install it should be installing and once it's done you go to plugins load character and as you can see this pops up now you can type in anybody's username and load in their avatar but for this one we're just going to be using the basic one now you want to hit spawn at origin and spawn r6 and once you hit spawn 6 as you can see it's already imported and to find it all you have to do is just hit the f when you select it now what you want to do is you just want to move him up so he's not clipping to the ground. Uh, if you want to do it another way is you can type it in through here. But once you have your avatar already imported, what you want to do is you want to go in and you want to delete the shirt and the pants and you also want to delete the accessories because we're going to be replacing them. Now you want to go into models and type in clone. And what you want to do is you just want to scroll down. Now you want to find the phase 2 clone morph pack. I find this one to be very good because as you can see it has a lot of morphs. Um, a whole bunch. And we're going to be picking one of these. So what you want to do is just pick one that you like. Um, before this video I decided that I was going to do um, Arc Trooper Blitz. Uh, I think that's how you say his name properly. But we're going to be using him for this one. So... We are going to move him to a different file, so I don't accidentally delete him, but there we go. So, let me just delete the ones around him so I can easily see it, and you guys can easily see it. Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to go into... Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to go into the um, the model itself and you want to find the shirt and the pants and you just want to find the avatar that we loaded in. There it is, already pro. And you just want to drop the pants and you want to drop the shirt into the model and that will equip it. Let me find it one more time. I lost it. Give me one second. Alright, there we go. And then once you do that, what you want to do is you want to separate everything that's in here from the arm and leg and the torso now this is all the models you're going to need but first before you do any of that what you want to do is you want to grab the character put a home and you want to rotate it this will make it very easy to move all the pieces and set them right and then you just want to put the body over the character now as you can see it's not going to fit perfectly um it's gonna be either too far or too close but you want to do is just want to line it up as close as you can and then after that what you want to do is you want to select e each part and hit right click and hit export selection now when you hit export selection what you want to do is you want to op open up where you put all your accessories and you want to right click and you want to make a new folder and just name that helmets Helmet, arm piece, um, left arm, right arm, uh, right leg, right leg, uh, right arm. Um, you just want to name your file to what body part it is. And then once you do that, you just want to hit name it, save it. And then you want to do that for the rest of these. Now I'm going to do that real quick. All right. Once you exported each of the armor pieces, what you want to do is just move that out of the way. And then you just want to click on our avatar that we imported. And we just want to inventory, uh, export the textures that we have so that would be the clothing and the face so what you want to do is just click on it left click and then right click and then you want to hit export selection now just like what we just did is we want to make another folder now i like to name this one um rig um normally name first like clone rig um you should also do all that with the rest so like clone torso clone right leg or you can do by the name of the clone trooper like blitz right leg blitz left arm if you're doing multiple that's just making sure 
occur that later on that you know what you're uh, importing into Blender. So once you do that, you just want to save it. And then after that, you're pretty much done in um, Studio. And then you want to move on to Blender. All right, so in Blender, what we want to do is we want to go to our image texture. Now I am using the Rhino Rig, um, I forgot to mention that. If you want to follow along exactly how I'm doing it, um, I will leave a link to the Rhino Rig down in the description. I also have a video on how to use the Rhino Rig if you don't know how to use all of its features. Um, that's just a little heads up. What you want to do is you want to go to image texture and you want to go to open, desktop, and wherever you put the rig now there i put mine and there we go now we want to import the armor go to file import wave front obj and again we want to find where we put everything now when you're importing the armor what you want to do is you want to import the obj not the mtl the mtl is something different and you just don't want to hit that um but once you selected it you just want to import it and there's the helmet now, as you can see, it's not going to be centered. Uh, we might need to do that ourselves. Um, again, like I said, when we exported it, um, it's not going to exactly fit it, but that's okay. So what you want to do is to make it a little bit bigger. You just want to hit S. And when you hit S, this little bar is going to show up and that's how you're going to scale it. Now, if you move it further away from the origin, it's going to make the, the object bigger. If you move it closer in, it's going to be smaller. So we just want to make ours a little bit bigger so we can fit onto our rig. Maybe make mine a little bit bigger. All right. And then after you size it just right, what you want to do is you want to make sure it's centered and where do you want and where you want it. Um, just making sure that everything is correct. Now, once you have it, what you want to do is you want to hit shift and click on the lines in between the rig but you also want to make sure you have your object selected too and once you do that you want to go into pose mode now in pose mode you want to select the bone you want to connect it to and as you can see this red line here means the head bone now after i selected it i just want to hit ctrl p and bone it now when it bones you can see that the head is now connected to the helmet now we just want to do that with the rest of the armor and I'm going to do that real quick. All right. Once you have everything posed and everything correct, uh, what you want to do is then you just want to import anything that you want to do. So if I wanted to do like a background, um, I would just import it from something like Sketchfab or CG Trader. But for right now, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to grab a blaster from Sketchfab. So give me one second. All right, as you can see, I <clears throat> imported a DC-15A. Every time I got that name right. I feel like I'll get butchered in the comments if I didn't get the name right. But um, once you import your weapon, you just want to scale it to size. Again, if you hit S and move it away, it's going to grow bigger. If you move it closer, it's going to shrink. So just be aware of that. But after you do all that, what you want to do is you just want to pose everything. Um, I don't know how I want to pose this one, so give me one second. All right, as you can see, I posed mine pretty quickly. Um, just like how I got my DC-15A from Sketchfab, I'm also going to get my background from Sketchfab. I'm going to show you how I get this one, just uh, show you how easy it is. So what you want to do is just want to go in your browser, and then you want to go to Sketchfab, like I said. And as you can see, this is how I found my DC-15. Um, you also find other models here. Um, as you can see, there's a lot, and be aware that some are paid. But I just want to type in something like, um, what was a what was a battle? I can say Blitz was definitely in. I don't want to say the first battle of Geonosis, and I don't know if he was in the second. I don't even know how to spell Geonosis. <laughs> Let's go with Camino, because at one point in time he was at Camino. Alright, that one looks pretty good. But this looks like a really good background. And what we do is just want to download it. Go to download. Now you want to download the GLB and you want to download the highest one with the highest texture. 
if you don't have a great laptop or a great computer i would download the smaller one it'll be easier for your laptop to handle and it probably won't crash your blender but you just want to download it go back into sketchfab and then what you want to do is you want to go to file you want to go to import gt gltf and then you still want to find it where you put it in your downloads now mine should be right here now there you go now i want i would like to say give it a second because it is importing a lot so this might crash your blender it might crash mine who knows just give it a second all right as you can see mine imported pretty well and it's not like my computer at all so that's pretty good now it's it's way too small for what we want so again we just want to expand it all right as you can see i have <clears throat> made it the correct size and i have put my character inside of it now all we have left to do is pretty much the lighting because as you can see when i do that um well it's just pitch black all right as you can see i moved it around because i didn't like the asia as much and i feel like adding a background to there uh would have taken a little too long i did want this to be a short video but if we go into our lighting and our camera, I think our results are pretty good. And um, after this, all you need to do is go into render and hit render image. Now, depending on what textures you used and what models you brought in, this may take a while. So I'm just gonna skip to mine finishes. All right, once it's done rendering, all you wanna do is now go into image and hit save and save it to wherever you would like i uh, just save mine to my desktop and what you want to do after that is just go into your photoshop choice all right in your photoshop choice i like to do two things and that is go into filters and normally i like to go into bloom now you see that's very strong um let's just up the threshold adjust the softness Turn up the radius, not too much, and the strength, just a smidge. I think five works, yeah. And after that, all I like to do after is just go into filters once again. Actually, not filters. Um, oh yeah, filters. I'm sorry. And then you want to go in the focus, and then you want to move this around a little bit and adjust it so that our image is a little bit more focused. And you want to turn down the blur radius just enough to where the background is blurred out and your image is a little bit more focused. And that's pretty much it. After that, you can add in any text, any symbols, anything that you would like of your choice. But if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. And join the Discord if you want to ask any questions about how I did this or you want to see um, something else as a tutorial or speed effect. Um, I'm still banned on Discord, so. Nothing I can do much. Right? I don't think I can do much right now, but in the future, I definitely will be back. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a good day.